Welcome back to One Piece Anime Re-Review. Uh, episode number 84. We're basically finishing up part one of the... Well, the one uh, one of the release episodes. And now we're into the most recent release ones. Yes, we're discussing for this one 898 to 906. Yes. This series has now become the first anime I've ever viewed... Where, for English Dub, I reviewed over 900 episodes. Thank you, One Piece, for the first one to do that. And probably going to be the only one, because I highly doubt any of anime get this far. <clears throat> in the case of episodes, what happened? So, the woman that Zora met in episode 897, turns out she's actually an owner of a tea of a tea house. Who offers to take Tom there, instead of going to the doctor, just give her some herbs and she'll be perfectly fine. And Luffy grinds and stuff, and of course she drinks, and of course she's perfectly fine. And she offers some red bean soup, of course, eats on her birthday. Then, of course, while well, she eats it, loves it. Of course, at first she was resistant to it. Then she eats it. Well, everybody just really enjoys themselves. And, of course, Luffy introduces himself to them and is like, so it's like, so I'm Zoro Toro. And, like, Luffy's like, I'm Monkey D. No, 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 I can't do that. Can't, can I keep a low profile? He's like, he's Luffy Toro. And that's his alias for pretty much, yeah, here's the thing. Zoro came out on the spot, and he pretty much goes with the alias for a lot of the rest of this arc. Until, like, toward the very end. So, and of course, Tojiro easily points out these two actions overseas. And this will reduce to Kaku. Yes, the wonderful Kaku, who's got something involving her. Yep. Because they like, like, 898, I think it's her debut. Let's see. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention uh, what happened with name Before they have the T T Lee show up, we have Luffy and Zoro take on Basil Hawkins. Yep, they fight him and his giant straw, this giant scarecrow. And he gets kind of beaten back by Zoro himself, who basically fights him. And, well, Luffy tries to use the sword he took previous episode. Ends up throwing the scabbard, does the same thing a little bit later. Then pretty much, like, then afterwards in the whole tea party stuff. Kaku herself is voiced by Kaylee McGee. Yes, that's who voices her. Who, let's see. She was bat- from Detectives Already Dead. And she's in this series. Yeah, and she's only been acting since like 2000, 2016. Not very long. Apparently she's also in the Sage of Scrum. Let's see if I can find anything else for her. And keep this woman's only 29 who's voicing Kaku. Yes, 29 years old. Yeah, not bit of many stuff per se. No, not really. That was a character pair for like a couple episodes. <laughs> yep. And now she's the voice of Kaku from One Piece. So yeah, I've not seen her in very much stuff. No. Oh yeah, I've also seen her in Stone Ocean. Well, George Runner's Stone Ocean. That's pretty much it. So it's not like the third series that features her. Mm-hmm. And do we have debut other characters? Oh yes, we do. We also see debut of Orishima, who's only here for about two episodes. He's voiced by Campbell Coley. 
yeah. Like I said, he's only here for like two episodes. And that is it. Yeah, that's quite something. Yeah, aside from how he's mentioned, he pretty much in a way just... He's here just, oh yeah, because he's in love with Kaku. Yep. Luffy fights him pretty much in like... Well... Another episode, we see debut of two more characters. Gazelle Man and Batman. Let's see, there's more. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, Kimijaro, Mass Man, Hiroshi, Bukasara, Sakuru, Hold'em. Yeah, Hold'em. He's a weird guy who's got a lion in his freaking belly. Yeah, these are your characters. Let's see if I can get them here. Batman, who, yes, he's obviously named after Batman from DC Comics. He's voiced by Brandon Souls, and he's in here for like, like maybe a couple episodes, and that's it. Yeah, very brief character Batman is. Gazelle Man, oh boy, this guy's around for a pretty good period of time. Voiced by Josh Bringle, and he, yeah, he's a weird guy. First time I see him, he's kidnapping Tama. Yep. Kamajiro is, well, the guy in <laughs> Holden's body. A very weird, weird, weird character this lion is who doesn't like the guy he's working with. Doesn't like Holden. Nope. He, of course, is voiced by David Oliver. Let's see if we can find him here. Uh, let's see. And David Oliver also voices Hold'em. Weird guy this guy is. He's wrong for a few episodes that he gets beaten. He's this very muscular guy with his big bulking belly. Yes. And he wears like a, a constructor hat for some reason. Yeah, I have no idea why. By the way, he's a headliner. Yes, one of three. Love Basil Hawkins and Speed. Yes, seriously. <laughs> That's who pretty much he's here. There's also Sakaro, a raccoon dog. There's Ikaku, who is who basically works with uh, Basil Hawking. He does not have an English dub actor. <clears throat> Wakisa, if it's just the wife of, of another character named Yakin. Well, another character. Yeah. There's Akami, who just one of these random sumo wrestlers who works with him now. There's Hiroshi. He is, has no credit for English back there. Mouse Man is voiced... Well, don't. there's no credit for him. For English that back there. Yep. Anybody thinking, it's One Piece. Is there more? Oh, yes. There is more. Let's see. Nothing in L3. They can make much of this before I didn't get a chance to, so. Okay. So the characters we have Rabbit Man, who does who does not have a card for an English step actor. Just a rabbit guy or a snake man. Yeah, he's a gifter. There is uh, Kibo, a boy who lives over town, which means leftovers. Yami, his mother, with his sister. Speed, <laughs> which uh, she's a very interesting character, voiced by Nala Mero. Yeah, she's another headliner from the town and. Mostly because she's there to bring in this big, huge boat, which is full of food. And, of course, Luffy's in town looking for, 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 for 
uh, Tama, and of course get the get this guy's attention. Fight a sumo match, which Luffy wins with a giant sumo slap, which sends the Yokozuna flying into Holdem's house. And then Holdem is trying to trying to get to uh, he's trying to get to Tama's dabble fruit using pliers, and that's not how it works. So, and of course, Holden was upset with it. Of course, puts uh, Tama in his belly. Well, not eating it, of course. They have put in the lion's mouth. The turtles try to eat it. Of course, Luffy gifts her back. Luffy finds out about what he did to her. Then he proceeds to use a red hawk punch on him, beating the guy. Before this, Luffy tells Zoro, Hey, can you steal that, Zoro? Sure. You go too, Kaku. Who, who, who basically, like, oh yeah, this might be a very, like, here's the thing very innocent woman. Is actually with the sword. It's like, oh yeah, I'm not going to see it. You can do it yourself. Yep. And of course, they steal the thing. Speed herself is basically like taking it after Luffy saves Tama from from Hold'em. By the way, Gazelle Man, he's basically, uh, he told all spill up his stamina better. Because he was like out of breath. <laughs> yep. Then pretty much like, oh, they steal the boat. And of course, Law is there, yes. Although with Beppo, love Beppo. Even Chris George, his voice actor, he loves his character. He thinks, it's, like, here's the thing: Beppo would make an excellent merchandise toy. And I've never seen merchandise of Beppo. You would think a character like this would be great for kids. No toy for him. He's a teddy bear. <laughs> it's so funny though. He points out lines you go to town because. The stop Luffy, like, oh, because Beppo's a bear. He's a polar bear who does not use electric stuff. But he's a mink. And, of course, well, then you have, I think it was uh, Law's like, Beppo, what did you do? Did you eat the poison fish? And he's like, oh, no, my belly. Yeah, I ate it, Captain. Fine, I'll heal you. Jesus. It's like, he's like, good grief. <laughs> it's like... Like, listen, Matthew Mercer here is similar to what I was hearing in Jojo Prasar Bench because Matthew Mercer gives him the jo- Jojo voice. Yes, I think that's so hilarious. And, of course, Basil Hawkins pops up again, like, oh, here's what's going on in town. Then, of course, he arrives there and he gets a brief fight with Law, which Law basically holds on, grabs on the door, like, what are you doing? Getting his food. Yep. Speed, of course, basically is there. Well, Luffy, like, oh, we can use that. Not realizing, you know, what, what, that speed is there. Is this person. So, they gave Zango to Speed. And Speed immediately takes a liking to Tom and become, claiming her to be a master. And, of course, they run away together. Yes, Tama takes Horse Lena. Well, Speed. And here's the thing. Only 24 years old. All because she's half horse, they able to take her no problem. Yep, and here's the strange thing though: she actually stayed in this form the whole time. The fact she's half horse, you would think they they would have the ability to like oh, like and they have it where Luffy's uh, this picture I'm looking at right now where Luffy is just holding on to her and of course putting his arm around her chest, calling him like he's who's manhandling me. He's like that's what he's doing. Which is so funny, and of course she uses hockey, hockey uh, arrows like, and she actually has no problem taking orders from Speed, from from Tom. And at first she has no problem having ladies right back. She does not have like guys right her back too. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, in the case of her, great character Speed. Uh, she's around for Kentucky the series. She she she's around for several nights. She disappears. But kind of back a little bit later. In regards, you have a fire fire appearance for one episode, and that was it for him. And pretty much they all escape, and well, next episode is the 20th anniversary episode, which is a adaptation of the one shot that inspired One Piece. We're just looking forward to discuss that one. Okay, so that's gonna be pretty much the episode of you. I have time to do one more video tonight, and I'll be calling it a night because it's getting kind of late. So next video, it's a comic corner. Okay, next video. Bye.